This is what the Army's 196th Infantry Brigade euphemistically calls the dynamic defense of Da Nang. It means offensive patrolling. And U.S. infantrymen, known as grunts, are still beating the bush in Vietnam. The objective is more limited now than it used to be, but here in the area around Da Nang, known as the Rocket Belt, GIs still patrol on 44-day cycles through the flatlands and hilly jungle. Delta Company is commanded by Captain Albert Duke Blanchard. The men respect him because he is experienced. He served as an enlisted man before becoming an officer. The captain is moving with his second platoon on this mission. They're nicknamed the Hawk Platoon. They are commanded by Lieutenant Ed Petrozolo, who was due to leave the next day. He plans to get out of the Army, go home to Boston, and enter law school. The Hawk Platoon has taken few casualties in recent months. They move quietly and carefully. On the trail and in their night position, the troops do not talk above a whisper. The following morning, intelligence reports indicate that another company operating only two kilometers away had five men wounded in a booby trap. This is a resupply day, which means a whole morning in position, a welcome relief from patrolling. Resupply day also means the only hot meal in a 10-day patrol cycle, and it is welcome. On this day, Lieutenant Ed Petrozolo said an emotional goodbye to the troops he has commanded for almost seven months. I'm leaving with little mixed emotions. I guess it all boils down to uh, having spent about six or seven months with you guys. I've had more satisfaction out of being on top of you guys than I think I could ever get. If I meet the same bunch of people of your caliber on the outside world, I consider myself a very uh, successful man. So just drive on the way you have been. And uh, I'll just say goodbye to you now. The 37 men in this platoon were a diverse group of personalities. Some were barely out of high school. One has been in the Army almost 20 years. Some did not care much for the work they had to do, while others seemed to enjoy war. Do your folks understand what your job is out here? Uh, yes, sir. I, I, at first I didn't want to tell them, but eventually I told them I was in the infantry and was sort of proud of it. Uh, I enjoyed the work I'm doing, serving the country. You like living in the bush? Well, I don't like it, but I, I really don't mind it that much. You know? I, uh, I've been in... I'm a country boy, so I did a lot of camping and stuff, so it doesn't bother me that much. What occupies your mind? Well, I think about home and my wife all the time. Well, she's going to have a baby pretty soon, and I think about that a lot, you know, and how it'll be to go back and be a daddy instead of just a new married, new married family. That's about all I think about is home. Uh, this hill right here is pretty safe, and uh, it has been bad. If we get to a hot place, guys start getting hurt, that's when everybody wants to go back to the rear. Right now, it's not too bad. It's uh, kind of nice out here if the weather stays good. How does this compare with your service in the Marines? Well, it's, there's not anything happening over here like it was in, uh, when I was over here before. I mean, it's a lot more settled, a lot easier. Not too much to worry about. We still got, uh, there's always a thought that you might hit a booby trap or something like that. I mean, you never stop looking. The night brought rain, and when the Hawk platoon set out in the morning, their packs were a little heavier for being wet. Progress on this day was delayed. The point men had to hack their way through thick jungle brush on the side of the hill before we could move forward. The next day brought more rain and another walk through the jungle. For the most part, the men of the Hawk platoon did not object too strenuously to their continuing role in this war, but they do want it known that they are still here. They work well together and do not seem to be plagued by the same problems many units experience in the rear areas, problems of discipline 
and dope. The Hawk platoon is getting ready to move out. In another 24 hours, they will have completed their 44-day cycle on patrol, and they will return to the rear. Our four days with Delta Company have been routine. No contact, just hot, wet, dirty, hard work. Bill Plant, CBS News, with the Hawk platoon of Delta Company near Da Nang. Columbus, Georgia. Commander, Commander Delta Company, 3rd of the 21st of the 196th. It's slating for identification. Uh, Re? Slating for identification. This is the second platoon leader, Lieutenant Ed Petrozolo. P E T R A Z Z O L O. Boston, Massachusetts. He's the platoon leader of the second platoon, which is known as the Hawk Platoon, the one which we're following. It's slating for identification. This is Sergeant Arturo Domingo, A-R-T-U-R-O, last name D-O-M-I-N-G-O. I am extremely grateful and thankful for anything and everything that you've done, and you've done a lot. You don't know it, but you have. Of course, it's in there. <laughs> so that's why I expect. If I'm not here, I'd be disappointed. John? Been a pleasure. Take care of yourself. Take care. Roger? So long. Easy, LT. Look. Square those guys away. Good job at Logan Airport. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of things in Sherburne. Oh, uh, don't worry. 
stay out of trouble, too. So long. Mac, take care of yourself. That's the nice to see. Slating for the interview, spec four, Michael P. McCarthy, West Covina, Los Angeles, California. Covina, rather. Rifleman. Okay. Okay, restarting the slate from the left. McCarthy. Okay, the next man. Sergeant Clifford Civil, S-I-V-I-L, Sacramento, California. Okay, next man. All right, spec four, Kenneth Elwert, Warren, Michigan. Okay. PFC Kimball Cochran, Loosedale, Mississippi. Spec four, John Cawthon, Ash Fork, Arizona. On this, uh, while he's doing that, we're not recording. Let me explain to you what uh, what the president said at 9.30 this morning, just in case it comes up at all. I'm not going to directly ask it, but if it comes up, fine. He proposed an eight-point end to all hostilities in Indochina, and they're going to bring it up at the Paris Peace Talks Thursday, tomorrow. Uh, his proposal includes a total withdrawal from Indochina within six months of agreement in Paris. So, you know, obviously... Uh, to be simultaneous with the beginning of the exchange of POWs and the withdrawal to end simultaneous with the end of all POW exchange. All elections within six months for, uh, of, of an agreement for Vietnam. And President Tu of Vietnam has agreed to resign one month before and to allow the elections to be held. That's basically it. He sent Kissinger to Paris in August, made 12 visits to... Um, negotiate the basis of this proposal with with the VC and, and Slating, this is sound roll five. Sound roll five. I'll bring him on. Let me look at this. <laughs> He's trying to quit. He's trying to quit. Shit this. Stunt must rule. You like shit this? If I don't mind. You want? It's another B1A. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we trade all sea rats for one big cow over here. <laughs> <laughs> one big cow for all sea rats. Everybody's just spread it out again. It's pinky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. around here. 